And then, of course, Carl Cruz with I Ought to Tell You. It is 15 minutes past 12, 93.6 FM, my guest of the week. That's where it all started. That is. That was actually, that's actually the second single I mm -hmm. ever released. The first one was uh, Not Just Friends. Yes. But that one followed extremely soon after. And, uh, and that's certainly the first time I ever met you and ever appeared on this radio station mm -hmm. was with that single there. And, 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 and Connell, when, when it happens, tell us a bit about, you know, yeah. how, how, do, how and as an artist, how do you feel? Is it kind of like, oh, I've made it, Is it, I'm on my way, uh, what do you sense? You know, the, the weird thing about this industry, now oh, I think it's the same uh, for, for both of our industries, because this is a beautiful place, and uh, Thank you just you. moved here, and it looks, it looks stunning, it looks amazing. <laughs> but in no sense do you feel like you've arrived, right? Mm -hmm. This is just another step up on the ladder. And I'm sure to um, the owners and the producers and the organizers and yourself in your own career, you're thinking there's even more ahead. And I think it's the same being a musician. Um, even though the success and uh, the reception from people who hear your music and love your music and, and, and then vote for it to be on charts or win awards or, or sell um, so many copies, I think that's all wonderful. But you never feel like you've arrived. Mm -hmm. You always feel like, i gotta, I got to give out more, I've got to do more, I've got to be more. Something I really appreciate about your career is that you have decided very early in your career to fly towards other countries, to spread yeah. your wings. Uh, tell us a bit about that process. Are you just fortunate or was that part of your plan? Oh, super lucky. I, I couldn't have planned any of this. I gotta say, life, life for me has not turned out how I expected or planned at all. I think I was gonna be a, a lawyer or something. I oh, okay. I was studying yeah. forever. At Blitz University, I just loved studying, so I was studying all these different degrees, and uh, and then by accident, uh, this opportunity to record music in South Africa happened, and then by accident, Ali Reed in New York City heard one of my songs, Into the Wild, mm -hmm. and uh, they brought me over to New York, and I, by accident, I was touring all over the United States, releasing mm -hmm. music over there. I mean, it's just been a beautiful accident after accident, but. I've really loved every part of it. It's, it's turned out better than I could have hoped or planned. Why America? Was that this just the opportunity? Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's the biggest industry. I think uh, if I think about all the countries I've visited and, and the places I've performed in and the, the industries that I've engaged in when it comes to writing or, or appearing on radios or on television, I think while we're all playing the game of music, mm -hmm. America's really inventing just one step ahead. They've got, they've got all their ducks in a row, and they're and they're really forging on with, with brand new ideas and brand new content. But I'm just I'm really grateful that the opportunity to go international happened in the states first, and um, and uh, signing that deal with Island Records and, and moving over there, it was good for me uh, from a career point, from a music point, but even from a personal point because that's where I met my wife and and I, I fell in love, and I mean that that's. My life would have sucked if that didn't happen. So I'm really glad it happened like that. Oh, that is so sweet. Uh, tell us about New York City and uh, being, uh, you know, uh, part of the whole clan. Yeah, um, it's a big it, clan. It, it is a big clan. Um, busy, busy yeah. city, busy. huh? Yeah, super busy. Something's always going on. Uh, it's it's hard to keep up. <laughs> so you always feel like you're trying to catch your breath in a city like New York. But tons of opportunities. Uh, so many places to perform. I, I think back uh, in Johannesburg, where I grew up, and uh, where I've lived for most of my life. Uh, after uh, after three or four months, you've you've kind of performed at all the venues, and and you've met all the people, and and uh, you just got to wait, I suppose, another six months before you you could be could go there again. Whereas in New York, you could perform nonstop for years and never run out of spaces to perform or, or people to meet. Or I mean, it's just really a I read something recently, Queens, which is uh, a borough just outside of Manhattan, but still in New York City, mm -hmm. is uh, was recently classified as the most diverse um, city, town, group, area in the world. There are more people from different cultures and different nationalities and different you know languages living there than anywhere else. I mean, a, for, from a creative point of view, that's really exciting to walk into a place that's literally a hotpot of ideas and being able to tap into all of that fresh, genuine, true inspiration. I think it's, I think it's a lovely place to be. 
Carl Cruz, my guest of the week today here on 93.6 FM and uh, of course her new studio album Barely Breathing, that is what it's all about. Now coming to South Africa, all about promotion, I mean uh, yeah. lined up all the interviews yeah. and stuff, I mean you this morning you were on Expresso um, in, in Cape Town and now today here and I'm sure you're going to go and visit other radio stations. Um, South Africa, um, very pleased to have you as part <laughs> of our stable, if I can call it that. But um, um, also an appreciation for what you do. Do you sense that when you're back in your oh, country? Oh yeah, this is, this is really home. You know? and, and that was the point of coming back here, to promote the, the album here first. Uh, releasing it here first, releasing it here a good two weeks, three weeks before it was released uh, in the United States. And then doing the rounds here, making sure I, I meet with everybody who's been an important part of my journey so far, like yourself, and, um, and Mike Radio Helderberg, and uh, in Johannesburg and Cape Town, in Durban, Port Elizabeth, East London, Bloemfontein, going to all of these places, performing uh, this new album, performing the new songs, and, um, and just giving back to the people who made my whole career possible. I wouldn't be where I am without everyone here back home mm -hmm. uh, rooting for me and, and pushing me onwards, and I'm really grateful for so for me, and uh, I told the labels this, it was very important that we take it here to South Africa first. But you know what, Connell, it's also the nice thing about you and uh, where you are, and especially your relationship with South Africa and, and your love for your, for your home country, is uh, uh, that we really embrace what you're doing and we understand um, you know, that you've got to leave the country, uh, that you've got to come back, that you've got to do it internationally, yeah. because that is, oh, that's just part of the plan. What, is really exciting is that it's almost kind of like you're venturing into the film side as well oh, yeah. and, and I love that because I uh, for me um, um, if I had to be a singer the first thing I would try to do is to get you know be part of a soundtrack uh, tell us about your process yeah so I, I've, I've been the, the greatest part of my journey that I've enjoyed so much so far is being able to write songs that end up uh, getting picked up for movie or a, uh, a promotional campaign in the US and, uh, and I really enjoyed that aspect because and, and even writing for other people I, I don't know if you um, if you play an artist named Amor Vittoni on your uh, new mm -hmm. channel or um, a young lady a new young lady named Alexandra May mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I've written songs for both of them uh, there are more songs called uh, Spray Me Flacca. Yeah, yeah, and, and she was in the studio. Oh, yeah. She was telling us all about it. Right. And I was kind of like blown away. <laughs> right. I said, Connell, are you, are you sure? <laughs> I didn't speak a word about that. <laughs> but um, but I, I love that part. So Into the Wild got picked up for this, uh, this lovely animated movie uh, called uh, Robinson Crusoe mm -hmm. in Europe. And then when it was released in the United States, it's called uh, The Wildlife, which I think was applicable. And um, recently, uh, Quaker Oats, which is this, uh, in the US, it's this brand that makes breakfast, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. owned by Pepsi. And they, uh, and they picked up a song that I haven't released anywhere yet, just a song I wrote brand new for them called Endless Possibilities. I'm going to be releasing it here in South Africa a little bit later. But uh, that's playing on TV stations across the country. It's a really cool feeling to get, sure. to get messages from uh, my wife's family who live down in South Carolina. And, you know, to see videos on Instagram of them screaming because this, this song comes up. And He's anyway. on. <laughs> yeah, it's really fun. I think that's a really cool side of the industry, you know, and it's like a, it's a, a humble, quiet side because it gets on with its business and it doesn't do it with fanfare. And, you know, this album and performing, these are all big and loud, but mm. that side of the, the world is, is really cool and I enjoy it a lot. I enjoy going into that. I'm very chuffed when yeah. I saw that. Colonel Cruz, my guest of the week today here on 93.6 FM, 25 past 12. And let's talk about Barely Breathing and also about the process. Um, still a lot of coming back to South Africa and getting ideas. It, and, and, and obviously, it's, 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 there's always a bit of influence yeah. from your home country. Yeah, we, this, is a, this is a real great source of inspiration and, and cool ideas. I mean, the guys, the guys that I work with in New York and Los Angeles, they've never heard of people like... Miriam Makeba or even uh, Johnny Clegg or, you know, mm -hmm. so I'm busy playing them these, these wonderful oh. songs that we sort of take for granted here but as forming part of our culture as a, as a musical community in South Africa and it's like blowing their minds They're like, wow, I've never heard of these rhythms or these ideas or these, these lyrical concepts before so it's really fun and exciting and I try to tap into the inspiration that comes from home, from South Africa the album I, I wrote 
I've been writing it for about two years. We worked in Nashville um, with some uh, amazing writers. I spent a week down there writing most of this album. Uh, and uh, in Los Angeles, I worked with some great guys who write for One Direction and uh, John Legend and Alicia Keys. Mm -hmm. And then in New York, I worked with um, Idris Mishlaini, who produced a lot of this album. Uh, he's, he's done amazing work since we worked together. He's, he's done, done all the Shawn Mendes stuff and the Chainsmokers and the, uh, Carly Rae Jepsen. I mean, I'm, I'm working Whoa. in these circles and being like totally overawed by the work that these guys put out and so lucky to be able to work with them. And at the same time, coming here to South Africa and working with uh, Ziggy Adolf in Johannesburg, my producer here, my good friend and producer Andrew Baird, who who lives in Cape Town, but for some reason, every time we work together, it's in Johannesburg, <laughs> and, uh, and he and I write uh, a lot together. Um, tapping into both worlds and making sure the best of both comes to the top. What are you as a, a client, what are you as an artist when it comes to um, the co collaborations and the stuff? Are you, are you an easy guy to work with, or are yeah. you very determined about <laughs> what you want? I suppose you should ask them. I, uh, <laughs> let's get them on, on the phone. I, I like... I like to think that I'm an easy guy to work with. I have this philosophy when collaborating with, with songwriting or creation or producing is not to be precious about anything. So oh, that's a good so to, one. Yeah. To just not, not have such a hard opinion. I, I remember working with these one guys um, when they came up with an idea and the rest of us didn't feel it was a good idea. They would take it personally and, and you know, be dejected and walk outside. And, and quite early on, I decided I didn't want to be like that. And I, I thought I'd just be very free about the process. And I learn a lot out of that. I, I, try, to, I try to absorb as much as I can. Well, congratulations. Yeah. You are on our top 30, and yeah. that with All Day, Every Day. Uh, and that's from his uh, latest new studio album, Barely Breathing. Carl Cruz, my guest today here on